Last but certainly not least on the FSU list of top 10 running backs is Warwick Dunn. Dunn's career is a storybook with a happy ending, but its beginnings were tragic. Warwick's mother, a Louisiana police officer, was killed in the line of duty just prior to his enrolling at Florida State. But Dunn would turn tragedy into triumph. Dunn's career is one long highlight that began when he started taking direct snaps as a freshman and finished when he ran all over the Florida Gators in one of FSU's greatest wins, the 1996 regular season finale against Steve Spurrier's team. He showed the Florida Gator defense. He came to play today. 26-yard run, Warwick Dunn. For the record, Dunn is the only Seminole running back to rush for over 1,000 yards in three straight seasons. Coach Bowden, you know, took a chance on me in my sophomore year for like with seven games, four more games, something like that. If I get 100 and some yards, I can become a thousand yard rusher. Have you had one of those? You know, they haven't had one in a while. So I was just fortunate that I ran some luck the last few games and the Florida game, I, um, I happened to do it. And I think after that, I think they realized my ability and what I can do on the football field and just took advantage of it. Warwick Dunn, of course, uh, boy, what a, what a great career he had at Florida State. Uh, we actually, when we signed him, we signed him as a defensive back, but he wanted to try it at tailback, so we let him, and after we saw him, we felt like we'd better keep him there. So he gained 1,000 yards his, three, three, his sophomore, junior, and senior year. We never registered him. And uh, the first year he played, we won the national championship. And uh, I think he scored 10 touchdowns that year. We could not have won it without him. Right? He's the all-time leading rusher in school history with 3,959 yards. He's also the single season leading rusher with 1,242 yards as a junior. Dunn holds the record for the most touchdowns scored in a career at Florida State with 49. He ran for over 100 yards an amazing 21 times, more than anyone else in FSU history. He was a three-time All-ACC pick and was also an All-Academic pick. And through it all, he was the same quiet, confident running back who never understood what the big deal was. To look at Dunn, you never know that so much ability could be packed into such a small frame. I have the confidence in myself. Can I go out and show everyone else? And I think all four years in college, that's what I tried to do. I, I won't let no one tell me that I can't do something. You can't do it? Okay. I'm. I'm I'm going to show you that I can do it, and that's basically what I try to do it. Warwick stood at just 5'8 and 170 pounds after dinner, but he had an uncanny ability to spin out of trouble and avoid the big hit. He seldom was hurt and generally just hurt the opponent. He was elusive. I mean, he, and, and he was small. But boy, he'd hit a hole, and he was so short that he'd go underneath the hole and come out the other side. I've seen him do that many times. And to pick out a favorite Warwick Dunn highlight, well, it's simply not possible. To the 25, to the 20, to the 10, touchdown! Ward takes the snap, play action, drops, looks, pops out of the pocket, runs to his left, throws it downfield, it is caught by Dunn, he's got the first down to the 40, down to the 50, down to the other side, under the 40, down to the 30, he separates, he's to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown!
carried the ball twice. We begin the drive at the 20, and we've got it to the 48-yard line. John has accounted for all 28. He got 56 yards in the first quarter. That's the first time he's touched the ball since then. Here with 9.16 to go, Civil Oil fans finally have something to cheer about. It's been a while since that uh, Busby two-yard touchdown pass to Pearsall. First toss pitch goes right side. Dunn's going to throw. Dunn cocks it off, throws it to... It's caught at the 42! What a... Not argument. Warwick Dunn is the finest running back in Florida State history. He embedded his name all over the FSU record books and set the benchmark for somebody else to shoot at. And in an era when college football players were leaving early for the fortunes of the NFL, Warwick Dunn chose to come back for his senior season and stay a part of the Seminole family. When he finished his career at FSU, Florida State retired his number 28 jersey, putting Dunn in a class with just a handful of other Florida State legends. But when it comes to Florida State running backs, Warwick Dunn is in a class by himself. 